If you're looking to become a full-time content creator this year, this video is for you, especially if you are looking to see what tools and what apps that you should get in order to become a full-time content creator. So if you're new here, my name is Gabriella and I'm a content creator based here in New York City and most of my content is surrounding fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. I'm on Instagram and I'm also on TikTok. I'll leave my links down below if you wanna go check them out. And I've been doing this full-time for about a year now and it is so fulfilling and it's so fruitful so far. And I've come up with a list of all the different tools and also a few apps that I found really, really helpful and useful to my content creation career. So if this video is helpful for you, it would mean so much to me if you would give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my content. I showcase a lot of my life living here in New York as a 20 something year old. Before we get to the list, if you are interested in any of these products, I will have all the links down below as well. Pretty much all of the tools that I'm going to mention are from Amazon, so it should be pretty easy for you to purchase. All right, so with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that is a definite must have is a tripod. So you can get any of these tripods on Amazon. This is the one that I have. I really like this because it has a really easy like click button at the bottom so that your tripod can open like this rather than having to turn the knob over and over again. It's just a really nice one like click button. And this tripod can get really, really tall as well. Tripods are a must have for any content creator because these are so useful and so helpful for you to shoot any of your photos or videos. If you also don't have a photographer to shoot you while you're outside, a tripod is also a really, really good idea as well to have so you can place it when you're outside, just wherever you want to take your content. And it just makes your life a lot more easier. The second item that I would also definitely recommend is more of a handheld tripod. So this is perfect, especially if you are a vlogger because you can just mount your camera onto this little screw right here and it just provides a lot of stabilization when you're walking around and vlogging. I've had so many videos where I didn't use this handheld tripod. I just used my hand to hold the camera up while I was vlogging. And let me tell you the amount of times that I caught myself accidentally shaking the camera. What I also really like about this is that it opens up like this and you can just easily place it on any flat surfaces. And it's basically a mini tripod. Okay, so the third item that I got pretty recently, which I absolutely love, is this OctoBuddy thing right here. So this OctoBuddy, you can see there's a ton of suction cups on it and it just sticks to your iPhone. And basically what this does is it can stick to most surfaces, like your wall or a door or a window, whatever. And it's so good, especially if you are trying to take any TikToks, just anything that uses your selfie camera and film your get ready with me's, your makeup routine, your skincare routine, whatever it is, this honestly was a game changer for me. I also really like to use this when I shoot any of my like outfit videos when I'm outside on the street, if I find like a door or a window or whatever, as long as I'm not bothering anybody. Okay, so the fourth item on this list is wired earphones specifically from Apple. So the reason why I really like these earphones is because of the mic that they have. I have found that this mic is probably one of the best mics ever. It's so clear, your voice is very crisp, and it's really perfect if you're doing any voiceovers or narrations for your videos. This is what I use every time I do my voiceovers for any like brand campaigns that I have. This is my main one that I reach for. I don't use any fancy like microphones, nothing. I just use this and it works perfectly. Okay, next up on my list is a portable phone charger. So there are so many different variations. Honestly, I think whatever phone charger you purchase on Amazon or wherever, it will all be the same. But I really like this one that I got from Amazon because it's really easy for me to just pop into my bag. It's not a big chunky portable charger that I've seen in the past. It's just something like this. And you basically open it up like that and you can stick it right onto your phone like this. And I also really like this because I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but they show you how much charge that this portable charger has. This is a really, really good item to have, especially if you are running around during the day, shooting your content, going to events, Whatever it is, your camera while you're shooting content outside will probably be draining a lot of the battery on your iPhone. So carrying one of these portable chargers is definitely key. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to talk about is specifically for anyone who is trying to become a YouTuber. So obviously you can shoot your videos with your iPhone. I mean, honestly, a lot of my videos that I shoot here on my YouTube channel, I have shot on my iPhone before and the quality is great. But if you wanna take it a level step 
even further. And if you have the means to, definitely would recommend purchasing a vlogging camera. So I use the Sony ZV-1. That's the camera that I'm using right now. And I've had it for about two years and I absolutely love it. The quality is so good. The microphone is also really incredible as well. And it's just really easy to stick inside your purse while you're on the go. I've also heard other cameras like I think the Canon G7X is also really good vlogging camera option too. The only thing about the Sony camera that I'm using right now is the battery, which brings me to my next item. So if you have a vlogging camera and the battery drains really quickly, especially if you're doing a daily vlog where you're using your camera for a long period of time, the battery will probably drain really quickly. And so what I bought on Amazon, which I would definitely recommend if you are a aspiring YouTuber is to purchase extra batteries and also comes with a battery charger where it can charge up to three batteries at the same time. All I have to do is make sure that all of my batteries are all fully charged when I'm on the go or vlogging and every time my battery in my camera dies out I just immediately switch it to one of these guys. So it's truly been so helpful and honestly I just stick it in my little Ziploc bag which is not the most aesthetic but whatever. Okay so the next item on my list I'm actually using it right now too so I'll put it right here but it's basically this mini swivel ball which is essentially a head screw that you can screw against your tripod and you can screw this against your camera. You can also screw it against something like this that can connect to your iPhone and then this is where you would screw it against. It can basically angle your camera or your iPhone to the point where you can shoot you know something that's on your table you can shoot flat lays and I use it a lot when I'm doing my cooking content because I found that a lot of tripods that attaches to my camera at least the ones that I've used in the past the tripod itself it doesn't have a mount that allows my camera to be angled where I can shoot like a flat lay content for example so I found this to be really really useful especially if I'm filming like a what's in my bag video next thing on my list are lights so obviously having a ring light is a must-have especially if you're a hair makeup skincare etc content creator but one thing that I really do love using is this light so a lot of people call this the Alex Earl light because I think she's the one who really brought this into popularity and I've been seeing this all over TikTok but I've had this for about a year now and it is truly and I don't mean to say this again but it really is a game changer especially to the quality of your content it just makes you look so much sharper and it just upgrades your content immediately there's so many different settings you can change the brightness of it you can also change like the different lights of it. I think there's like a yellow light and a white light combo. And it's also just so easy to put against your phone like this and to just take content immediately. Okay, next thing is so small, but it is so important and so key to quality content. And that is a lens wipe. So you can use any type of lens wipe, um, whether it's like a glasses lens wipe or a jewelry cleaner. So I have this from Majuri. Every time you purchase something from Majuri, it comes with with a free like jewelry cloth cleaner. And I really like the size of it because it's just so small. It's like a little square and I can just pop it in my pocket I can, or I can pop it inside my bag. And every time before I take my content, I just give it a quick little wipe and it really does make so much of a difference because sometimes I don't realize how much I touch my lens on my phone and all the grease, all the oils, everything, your sweat, it catches all the grease, all the oils, everything, all the little dust bunnies too. So just give your lenses a little wipe and it will make all the difference to your content. Okay, I have to change up my scenery because I think where I was sitting was getting a bit too hot. We get a ton of light in our apartment. When it's a certain time of the day, our apartment is just a greenhouse basically and we get like direct sunlight which is amazing but it's also a little bit crazy because it just overheats our entire apartment completely so anyways i am here in the living room now and i also wanted to talk about the apps that i really enjoy using and that i use all the time during my content creation so the first app that i use for basically every single one of my videos when it comes to editing is CapCut, and you probably heard of this software before because it is just so popular and it is wildly loved and used. It is so user-friendly, it is so easy to learn, and it's for free as well to download onto your phone. And it's so good because they also have a ton of different templates that you can integrate with TikTok. There's just so much to love about CapCut. I really absolutely love the app, and I would highly recommend you to download it if you're trying to start posting on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So the next app that I also really enjoy using, particularly for my photo editing, is Adobe Lightroom. So they also have it for free 
on your iPhone to download as well. It's also very easy to use. I mean, you can get really technical with it too if you wish, but overall the app is really simple to use. You can do everything like adjust the exposure, the brightness, the contrast, everything. You can also color correct as well. But the one thing that I really love about Adobe Lightroom is the presets. So you can either create your own presets if you want to, or you can also purchase any presets of your choice. You can find a ton of presets that you can purchase if you Google them. You can also find them on Etsy. This is also a little quick shout out, but I created a ton of preset templates on my Etsy storefront. I have a ton of different preset bundles that I've created myself that I sell on Etsy. You can find it all down below in my video description. But essentially, I love creating my own presets because it just makes my feed on Instagram look very uniform and it helps you to just create your whole vibe and your overall aesthetic that you want to achieve to your Instagram, which is very important for your personal branding in my opinion. So for me, the lighting on my Instagram images, if you can see on my feed, it's definitely a little bit like moodier, it's slightly darker as well. So I created presets that I can easily just click in my Lightroom app and it automatically applies the filter to my photos. So I can just post immediately onto Instagram. I have all of these presets in my Etsy shop. So again, if you're interested, it's all in the video description. So the next app that I would also highly recommend using is called Photo Timer Plus. But basically what Photo Timer does is exactly what it sounds like. You set how many photos that you want to take and, and what the duration is between each photo. And once you have that done, basically what the app will do is it will automatically take photos for you without having you click any button. So this is definitely amazing, especially if you are a content creator on your own. You don't have anyone who can help you just easily take content for you. Even if you're traveling by yourself or whatever it is, if you have your tripod and this app, you basically have someone who can just automatically take photos for you. So all you have to do is just set up exactly what requirements you want. I usually set it to like, I think 10 photos and take it every five seconds. So in my head, I know when to like change my pose, for example, and it just goes straight into your camera roll. So this is really, really perfect if you're taking your content outside and you're by yourself. Okay, so last but not least, the last app that I would highly recommend is called Planoly. I've heard different people pronounce it differently. Like I say Planoly, I've, I've heard people say Planoly, whatever. And it basically connects with your current Instagram account. So it funnels all of the content that you've already published and you can also upload any photos that you plan on posting in the near future and you can then play around see you know what content fits better next to what content if you're really like stingy with the overall aesthetic of how your feed looks i'm definitely one of those people and so this app really helps me just visually see what photos look good next to you know each other but i really love having this app that allows me to just visually plan out my feed in advance okay so that is all of the tools and the apps that i use all the time ever since i started doing content creation full-time a year ago and all of these tools and all of these apps have been so critical to just my my growth as a content creator and I would definitely highly recommend everything that I mentioned in this video for you if you are trying to become a content creator this year. If you are already a content creator and there's anything that I missed, I would be so grateful if you would just list it all down in the comments below so that we can all see. So let me know if this video was helpful for you. And you got this, content creation is so incredibly fulfilling. I love just being fully creative and having creative control of everything. So again, if you like this video, it would be incredible if you would give it a thumbs up. But till then, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one.